Sewing needles are very small and can easily go missing, so small needle cases and pin cushions can be used to help keep track of them. Instead of a traditional pin cushion where you stick the points into cotton or cork, a small magnet can be used. You can make a two-piece mold by using a laser cutter to cut thin MDF sheets from an accurate two-dimensional drawing, which can then be glued together to create a three-dimensional shape. Three millimeter, or an eighth of an inch MDF, is used to create the negative, and is offset a sixteenth of an inch to create the positive. Since the gap between the dies is only a sixteenth of an inch, the saddle leather has to be split to a sixteenth of an inch or thinner, or the leather will not have enough room to stretch and will tear instead. Thicker 6mm or quarter inch MDF is used to add support, and an eighth of an inch dowel can be used in the center to align the pieces from the center of the mold after all the pieces are sanded and glued. To use the wet mold, cut a piece of 3 to 4 ounce or less than a sixteenth of an inch thick saddle leather slightly larger than the mold and soak the leather in a clean room temperature water for about 10 minutes. Sandwich the leather right side up inside of the mold using plastic wrap as a moisture barrier and clamp the mold using even pressure to the edge of a bench. When the mold is made correctly, not very much force is needed, just enough to close the gap around the mold as the leather is stretched into the shape you created. Leave the mold clamped for about 20 minutes and remove the top part of the mold to allow the leather to dry overnight. Leather will shrink slightly as the leather dries and not always proportionately so I only cut molded leather after it is dry. When you cut out the leather for the raised lining, make sure the shape you create is large enough to have a half inch round earth magnet in the center and the pieces all fit together snugly. Cutting out a perfect circle is difficult to do freehand so use an acrylic marking gauge to create the border where the seam will go which is an eighth of an inch or three millimeters from the edge. Clamp the cutting template to your bench using spring clamps to make it easier to cut around. Carefully apply glue, then clamp the pin cushion together with equal pressure and allow the glue to dry. Color the earth magnet pin cushion, stitch it together, and finish with edge paint and leather conditioner.